Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Houston's been on a roll lately, but a winning streak is only important if it continues to be a winning streak. By extending it, we'll see if they can get it done in this one. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Ford Stadium in Dallas, Texas. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Number Houston no, is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He's on the run. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. And he's taken down around the 49-yard line. I love the blitz, but the quarterback did a really good job of seeing it and reading it and then standing tall in the pocket to find his man for the first. Caught out in the open. Brought down at the 35-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. To that quickly, and he's tackled around the 27 yard line. That makes it second and two. Fires quick, he catches another. He's tackled at the nine. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. first down and they'll be looking for six points here they come out on an empty backfield pulls down the catch and he's got room here and a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown anytime you're near the red zone you got to keep an eye for this guy they love going to him down here SMU with a six-point lead. He makes the PAT. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Hurricanes came into the game ranked 10th. After the hard-fought loss, will the Polsters keep them high in the rankings? This game was tighter than spandex on a sumo wrestler. Florida State wins it 34-31. In other games, the Wolfpack take the field, the number three team in the land, hoping to prove they're more than worthy. This one was tight. And for McLaughlin, he threw for better than 250 yards. The Wolfpack gets the win by seven. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. 
Might have been some early movement up front. Ball start, start. off the Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still, Still first, first down. down. From their own 20-yard line. First down. Clayton gets seven yards on the play. That makes it second and eight. his way to about the 38. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 38. He's taken down at about the 41. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. They make the stop at the 43. Ah, comes away with two yards on the quarterback keeper. From their own 43-yard line, third down. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. First and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. That makes it second and six. This is the eighth play of this drive. Right around the 24-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure or just to throw the ball before you get hit. It's up, and he splits the uprights. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Wolverines were ranked 11th in the nation. They hope that spot proves they are capable of rising much higher. And for Michigan, this W gives them eight wins on the year. The Wolverines walk out with a seven-point win. All right, Reese, back to our game. Wilkins has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. For the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Tackle at the 29. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. SMU is up by four. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. And now he 
He's got room to run. Makes it out to about the 49. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. After a decent run up the gut. Tackle made the 37 yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Fires it out. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 35 yard line. That's a great tackle at the 26. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. He fights forward to about the 23. That's good for a game three yards. That'll make it second to seven. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. SMU is up four. Throws complete, he's got space to work, and he's taken down at the 15. From the 15-yard line, first down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. It's the 11th play of the drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. And they got him for a loss. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. That makes it third and 15. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Down at the 14-yard line. That screen gets around six. I like the play call here. Getting to the receiver on the screen, he had blockers in front, and he turned the play into a nice little game. He gets it up, and he's got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Run and he's brought down. Game is seven on the play. First down. Get out of here, baby. And he's tackled around the 47 yard line. McBride with the tackle at the 47 yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Incomplete, almost picked off. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free.
Strike to his receiver, no good. That's going to bring up fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. SMU's offense is really looking dangerous so far in this one, Kirk. I mean, what's the defense going to do to slow them down? I think you have to start somewhere, and that, that somewhere, I think, is stopping the run. You have to load up, take your chances, put extra numbers in the box. Once you stop the run, that can allow you to put some pressure on their passing game. Right now, they're not stopping the run or the pass. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And he's going to be sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 15. SMU is up by a touchdown. And he tackles him hard at the 16. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up third and 14. Pulls it in. Shakes off a tackle. He's tackled around the 25-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and five. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Gets to about the 44-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 46. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Now he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. They try to get a head start there. Ball start, start offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches Still have a low in. threshold for mistakes like that. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and he gives them a long field to work with. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. SMU up seven points. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Loss of three on the play. That makes it second and 14. Second down. And as they come up to the line, they're going to be in the shadow of their own goalpost. 
They line up in the jumbo set. Black five. Kill, kill, kill. Nice run there. That'll bring up third and eight. Quick to an open man, he dropped it. Nelson the intended receiver on the way. That makes it fourth and eight. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often does have the ability to make guys miss. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he is drilled at the 40. From the 40-yard line, second down. He hits him hard at the 32-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it first and ten. That's some pretty timid play calling right there. Let's see if they decide to open it up a bit more. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 32. Stop behind the line. And he's level at the twenty. From the 20 yard line, it's first down. He gets rid of this one. Was a big hit on the quarterback. It's going to be interesting to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Here's the eighth play of the series. Watch the pass. Ready. Lighting. Check, check. He's looking for his man. The defender had it and then dropped it. Johnson's intended to see on the play. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. The kick is up, and he hooked it left, and they come away empty-handed. And our score, 10-3, SMU. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. SMU is up a score. He's taken down at the 37. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And they make the stop at about the 39-yard line. Caught 
with room to work. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. From the 43-yard line, first down. And they got it. Great penetration to get in there and sack their quarterback. That'll make it second and long. Inside handoff. And down he goes at the 39. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. SMU is up seven. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. That's good decision-making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And this play is number eight on the drive. at the 17. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Third down again. Three down, three down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. They hand it off again. They tackle him there, and he's still going to be short. No game on the play. That'll bring up fourth and one. SMU is hoping to make this a two-score game. Somebody jumped early down there. False start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see Still movement on the down. other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up. He clanks it off the upright. No good. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He airs it out. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Out of bounds, around the 26-yard line. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision-making. go ground. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play, and you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. From their own 40-yard line. First down. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, steps out of bounds. Right around the 42-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Third down now, they need to get it out to midfield. Six. 
slings it. To the 20. To the 10. What a play. Knocked out of bounds, and that's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. This defense is looking to make it three straight trips to the red zone without a single point. Kicks away, and he got it. Low scoring first half of play, but a close game. The Mustangs lead 10-6. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to filling a close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herbstreit's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. <laughs> Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Tackled after a decent pickup. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's knocked out of bounds at the 34. Sacked. And for Samuels, he's got two sacks on the day now. It seems like every one of these guys' sacks comes at a key point in the game. This one was on third down, and they really needed it. Wilkins is the punter. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He drops it. That's a tough play. Whether you lose the ball or not, it can mess with your head when that happens. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Go down, go down. SMU is up four. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on their own 30. Watch a slant. Watch a slant. Mike 50, Mike 50. Get that, get that, get that, get that. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Tries to set up a screen for the wide receiver. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 49. At the corner. Nice run there as they work the outside. That brings them second and five. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Gaining four yards. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Four down, four down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Black five, black five. 
The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start, offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, Still too. Third down. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's tackled right around the 30. From the 30-yard line, it's first down. SMU is up by four. They'll run it. Brought down at about the 31. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stops before he even gets going. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled around the 19-yard line. From the 19-yard line, first down. Little handoff, looking for the corner. Tackle made the 17-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. That was a great tackle. The defender seemingly came out of nowhere and put a big hit on the ball carrier. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Three down, three down. 91 is the mic. Got it and brought down immediately. Wilson on the tackle at the 13 yard line. That'll bring up third and four. They'll line it up again on third down. Three down, three down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. They bring him down in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Trojans were ranked 24th. Now the loss is likely to knock them out of the hole. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. The Golden Bears prevail by seven. In other games, time to get you up to date on what's going on in the top 25. The Crimson Tides have a lethal pass-catch combination for a touchdown. Every score has had an answer. All locked up at 21. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 20-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's into the open field. Nice run, and he's brought down. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. That makes it first and First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. And they hit him in the backfield. 
loss of a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. From their own 36-yard line, second down. Could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. And they push him out at about the 43-yard line. Wilkins to punt. And he's tackled at the 25. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. SMU up seven points. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. On the ground, left side. Gets to about the 27-yard line. six-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. And here's another third down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. And he's level at the 28. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Fourth and long here after the sack. SMU is up a score. He's taken down at the 45. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He goes out of bounds right around the 46 yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 46. Him hard at the 48. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. Wilkins is waiting for the snap.
Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. They'll get him for a loss. From their own 17-yard line, it's second down. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. The Mustangs with a touchdown lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. SMU is up seven. Throws in the middle, and down he goes at the 24-yard line. Now I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Taken down at about the 33-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. They'll bring him down around the 36-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 36. And they got him for a loss. Call it a loss of four yards. That makes it third and 11. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. Hey, hey, check, check. Mike 50, Mike 50. And they make the stop at the 29. First and ten after the big pass play. Tackle at the 33 yard line. Loss of four. That makes it second and 14. This is the eighth play of this drive. SMU is up by a touchdown. Going right to his tailback. Broke away from one. He's pushed out of bounds. Around the 23-yard line. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Mike's 50. Mike's 50. Thank you. And he's immediately tackled. This is the tenth play of this drive. He's knocked out of bounds at the eight-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Sets them up for the first and goal. And this is the 12th play of the drive. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. They'll drop him for a loss. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. About a yard to Pater. 
Ready? Omaha! Kill it. Omaha! Watch the motion! Watch oh. the motion! To the end zone, intercepted! What is he thinking? The quarterback has got to know at this time in the game, unless his man is wide open, that he should just throw it away. It's these kinds of mistakes that can cost you a game. Ready? Mike Smithy, Mike Smithy. Go for it! Gains his way to the 29-yard line. That's a deep nine yard play. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. The halfback with a carry. They'll knock him down for a loss. Uh, I, I think calling the plays, you've got to be aware of this guy. He's making too many plays. And when he's that close to the line of scrimmage, defending the run, not allowing your running back to even get up to the line of scrimmage, you've got to do something to make him pay for that. If he's going to cheat up to the line of scrimmage, you're calling the plays. Listen up. It's a great time to go play action and try to throw the ball right over top of his head. He zips it. It falls incomplete. Robinson's intended to see the play. That'll make it fourth and two. Wilkins awaits the snap. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's to the 40. Brought down at the 43-yard line. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They're about four yards away here on second down. They come out in a five-wide set. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. That's a game of two on the play. Third down. <laughs> SMU up seven points. And two. Excellent. Dawson gets another handoff, and he is drilled at midfield. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. Heading for the corner. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Well, these defensive coaches have got to be loving what they've seen from their guys today. Well, you and I talked to both of these coordinators getting ready for this game, and they put together a game plan. They shared it with us, and we're seeing it out there on the field today. They still are going to determine the outcome of this game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Nice run there. Gains about five yards on the option play. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 30-yard line. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That's a big gain and more than enough for the first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 39. Just under two to go in the game. Here we go! That's a great tackle at the 47-yard line. Running back picked up about eight on the draw. That'll bring up second and three. Ready, ready, 
Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. That's the second time that this defense has given up a first down on third down. You work so hard as a defense to get an offense to third down. When you get them there, you've got to be able to have somebody step up and make a big play, whether it's a defensive tackle slipping through a block, a linebacker shooting a gap, a defender in the secondary that's able to make a play on a football. Somebody's got to make a play, and that's what winning, the difference between winning a football game and losing is how you play on third down. From the 49-yard line, Second down. Slings it out and it gets tipped. He showed you some of his natural athletic ability following the play and making a really quick stab to knock away the pass. This is the ninth play of this drive. Out of bounds at the 45-yard line. So they're going to go for it here. Quick throw. And he's tackled at about the 19-yard line. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. We have less than a minute to go. He gets rid of this one. From the 19-yard line, it's second down. Nice run up the middle. They get about four on that keeper. Houston's going to have to use their second time out of the half. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Here we go. Red 68. Red 68. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. This could be it, fellas. It's fourth down. This is their last chance. They need a big play here. Late in the fourth quarter, and the big question is, in a game this close, who's going to crack first? They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Just under a minute left in the fourth quarter, and this game hasn't failed to disappoint. We are tied at 13. Wilkins is lined up to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Late in the fourth quarter now, tie football game. And if we're headed to overtime, I hope it's going to be as good as what we've seen through four quarters. And a quick throw. Brought down at the 36. There was good pressure coming in, but he stood his ground and found his teammate for a nice game. Under a minute left in the game. He sails it long. Doesn't get there. Brad, I don't know about you, but it looked to me that they just miscommunicated. It looked like the wide receiver was going in one direction and the quarterback was throwing it in another direction. They definitely need to get on the same page. Throws it in a hurry, and he's taken down at about the 45. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He goes downtown. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. and now the offense has got a chance to win it. And down he goes. 
the 27 yard line. You got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much Holy argument about this call. Well, we holding is that obvious? The official most definitely is going to bust you. From their own 15 yard line. First down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. made at the 24. Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Gets out to around the nine. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. Here we go. And down he goes, right around the four yard line. That's a D and five on the way. That brings him second and goal. Just inside the five. Second down. Knocked out of bounds at the three yard line. Touchdown, Cougars. It's a brand new ball game once you get to overtime, and this was a really big score. These guys have taken charge. Now it's their game to win. And he tacks on the extra point. First and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at the 20-yard line. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. Gets to about the 17-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. They'll get him for a loss. That is a loss of zero yards. That brings up fourth and three. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Fires quick to an open man, he dropped it. A great one to win, a really tough one to lose. Houston, 20, SMU, 13. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kirk? Well, what can you say when you have two evenly matched teams come in and duke it out and go into overtime? SMU really gave it all they had, but they just didn't have enough left in their tank once they got into overtime.
So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.